Okay. So I'm in Winnicott B. I don't know how well you can see through my kind of fogged up windows. I dried them off best I could. We got the marina over here. So it's pretty cool at night. That's all lit up. So you know, we like looking at stuff like that. Fairly clean campground. Last time I was here, I stayed in Windy Cove B, which is next door here. So I'm heading out for a morning break-in to do several heat cycles. I did one last night. And uh, maybe I'll go do one this morning. Go back to camp, make breakfast, grab the wife, and then go out for a third one. I'm gonna do at least three heat cycles on this belt. So yeah, you can kind of see the marina there. And then there's a more high-end campground right over there. And here's a another little spot. I think there must be a day use. But right over here is when you go B see where that big white fifth wheel is right here on the end that's where I stayed last time which uh, I kind of enjoy being on on the roadside a little bit because I like watching the different vehicles drive by see the toys that they got so like that so I find that entertaining myself so this is the entrance to that one that I said that's more of a high-end one you're not allowed to even drive ATVs in there so Winchester Bay RV Resort so you have to haul them in and out or there's some people that'll just park their machines out here and then go in but that don't seem too safe to me So the bad thing about Winnie Cove A is you're a long ways from the sand. Ah, uh, yeah, there's some people that just parked out there. They're camped on the other side of that hill. Um, so Winnie Cove A is the farthest away and then B is a little bit closer to the sand, not a whole lot. But you got a long way to drive down the side of the road here in this gravel. And, uh, I wouldn't have thought about it, except a friend told me that he had some friends staying in that RV resort there, and he was going back and forth, um, camping for a weekend or a week or something like that. Anyway, he said he just ruined the set of paddles by going back and forth so much. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to put the paddles on. Uh, to come out here because I got to drive so far. But like I say, I, I wouldn't even have thought that. I wouldn't even have popped in my head. So the advantage to the general, though, is I have um, turf mode. See down here on these buttons. So you put it in turf mode, you're in one-wheel drive. Like, see, this section right here, we're driving on asphalt. As long as you're going straight, it's not going to really hurt anything. But when you turn, if you got a locked up rear end, like if I took it out of turf mode or like a Razor has, which the guy I'm talking about is driving, driving a Razor, every time you turn, your inside tire or your, you know, your tires are scrubbing. So you're just scrubbing your paddle off of your tire. I probably would be fine with mine because I can put it in one wheel drive and also the design of the paddles that I got I've got the little knobs in between each scoop so that uh, it's a little smoother and the paddles not taking the full brunt so we'll see when I came out last night for a first warm-up pass it was uh, It was very wet, tight sand. I don't know the paddles leaving. 
matter in that condition. So, anyway, turn this thing off, get a little closer. Okay, I don't know if you can make out the sign in the camera, but Umpqua Dunes County Park. So that's these vehicles that are up here in front of me. So they've been redoing this one and the back half of it is all gravel where these trailers are but on the far side they've been fixing it up and it's all uh it's all paved and they got little concrete pads where you would hang out and have your patio little fire pit and everything full hookups back at the far end and probably see down there the trailers way back there um, so that one has direct dune access you go out of that that camp on the far end of the road and it comes right out on this dune road that we're gonna go on here in a second and then there's these condos up here that people rent um, so if you don't have a trailer, you can rent a condo. I don't know how you can get that info. And then we've got, uh, we've got Half Moon Bay up here on the right. And that's got direct dune access. You just drive across the street onto this dune road, um, but they don't have any hookups. So currently my generator's not working so I want to have camp that has hookups all right well I'm gonna finish this donut and then head out this road a little bit okay so this is a sand road that's parallel on the asphalt road there uh, just trying to do moderate throttle, letting up on it every once in a while. So if you ever, uh, if you ever come out here in Winchester Bay, especially on a holiday weekend, but pretty much always they have cops out here. So right across here, that would take you over to Half Moon Bay right over there. Um, and they do patrol this road, so be careful. Don't uh, don't speed. It's only 10 miles an hour, and don't go on the other side of that barrier. There's some spots that the there's actually a rail, but it's underneath that sand, and sometimes you can't tell where that barrier is. And if you're on that other side, they will give you a ticket. Uh, from what I've heard, they don't don't just give you a warning they give you a ticket so we got the day use parking areas come right out of there so I got some friends that are coming out for a ride today try to get some of these heat cycles out of the way Looks like they're making a new parking lot or camping area or something. There's one of the uh, day use areas. See, they got this all gravel here. So since that's a day use right over there, I'm assuming this will be more day use parking. But I can't guarantee that. And that comes out of the sand right over here. So I'm just going to mosey along here, Comp Hills right there. I'm obviously not going to try going up that right now because I'm doing the belt break in. So I want to try to avoid steep hills. So instead of going that way towards the comp and up and around, I'm going to try going this way along this flat. And uh, 
try to keep this a little bit a little bit easier on the belt trying to get the heat cycle going we're at 199 degrees so far in the engine um, which of course since I have a heater in here I'm still in some of that heat out I went the other way last night. Entering National Forest. Oh, I've never seen that sign because I never come this way. Let's see what that says. Regulations 93 decibel sound limit. Alcohol permitted or prohibited on sand. Red or orange flags displayed nine foot above ground. Respect closures. All regulations are posted at sand entry points. It is illegal to operate ATV in violation of posted restrictions. Oh. Nine foot off the sand. Okay. So if you've seen one of my past videos, we we're sitting up on top of Comp. I'm going to have the sun right in my eyes, but this is the bottom side looking up at it right up at the top of that mountain right up there. That's the top of Comp. Those people standing right there are um, hanging out just behind the starting point. It, it kind of goes down so that you have a good start and then you shoot up. And here's sand camping area. We got some more people out here today than there was last night. That must be what all these are from, for people dragging their trailer out here. You see some pretty big, amazing vehicles out here on the sand sometimes. You see big old Class A motorhomes. So, the air in the tires and go for it. You can make it, and then sometimes people will just have their buddy They'll air down and everything, but then they'll have their buddies hook up to them with a strap and help pull them out to their spot. Wow, oh, this place here, they even brought porta potties with them. <laughs> That's funny. Well, this deep rut keeps going out here, so I guess it wasn't from sand campers. I don't think there's any sand camping out here, so. Must be someone out here with some gnarly paddles. It's kind of funny, I've never been out here hunting for smaller hills. I didn't know there was all of these uh, easier ways to get around. When the kids were growing up, we never came to Winchester Bay because, uh, you know, they were young and learning and the youngest son was, you know, on a little quad. And everything about Winchester Bay tells you that it's got big, uh, big tall dunes. But I'm seeing with these uh, bypass areas. Looks like maybe I could have brought the kids out when they were younger. I'll have to remember that. That means I could bring the grandkids eventually. And I have the tall dunes, so I have uh, some stuff to play on. So the fan must have kicked on once. This is temperature drop back down to 190. So, what one of my buddies was telling me was that you want to, uh, what he does, and he's been doing since 2008 with his razors, he's never lost a belt. He does three heat cycles. Just run 
runs around and always on the dunes. He's never broke a belt in anywhere else. And uh, he just screws around, moderate throttle, and uh, and he would do that until until uh, the fan comes on, and then he would park at the top of a dune with the engine pointing into the wind, and then it cools off pretty fast. So, I'm doing similar, I'm getting it warmed up, and I'm actually letting the fan turn on a couple times, and then I'll head back to camp and make breakfast and let it cool down, get the wife, head back out, instead of us just sitting out here. So yeah, there's some more sand camping out here, obviously, I wasn't aware of, and another uh, another staging area day use staging area that's some people up there on top of that dune people over here get on some of this hard pack here and cruise a little bit <coughs> Let that guy out. Is he gonna go try to do something? Or it's like maybe he's got a camera. He's gonna do a little filming. There's that other day use area. Oh, he's running back to the day use. Left his buddy out there in the middle. Probably enough commentary for this run. It's beautiful out here this morning. <coughs> kind of crisp, but that don't matter when you got a general with a heater. Well, we got the paddles on the back, and I put the back tires on the front. So my theory is that they would have a little bit less um, bite than the factory front tires. Let's see if that does better. I like the steering a little better in the sand because you don't feel the, it trying to fight you because the front tires are like a like a paddle almost. And uh, what I was hoping is it allow the front tires to spin some more so that the power gets transferred to the rear when you're in four-wheel drive trying to climb a big hill. Um, don't want to lose all the power in the in the drivetrain to the front trying to dig I just want it to help a little bit on the big hills so I just let a little more air out and get them so they're a little squishy it said that they were at six and I let more out they felt really hard but I'm gonna have to research my gauge but I don't know if you can see that how much I'm squishing it and we got a little bit of a bulge in the side so basically I got this whole scuff part of the tire touching the sand so you got a bigger footprint so far it seems to be doing a little better so we'll keep going and see what else we'll come up with here's what it's looking like out here today So having parking lots full and the campgrounds full, there's not a lot of humans out here. There's the wife. Hi. Those of you who love the ocean or who have never seen it before, here's another shot of it. And the dunes going way out there, but somewhere, oh, there's posts right along there. 
So, just on the other side of these trees right here, you can't go down there. Those are closed. This, I, you probably can't see it in the camera. Right about there, right about there, there's a post and it has a sign. So, you got all that coastline right there, all the way down there, these big dunes over here. Rider? No. Tyson. Tyson. Here goes Rider. Almost exactly like his dad on that one. It looked like they needed to hit the brakes. cool when you get stopped and you get a bunch of people gathered and they all start jumping. It's pretty cool. used to really fly when we were going to the dunes all the time in Florence. He'd really be flying. Now he knows it's like to be hurt though, and he don't want to do it. Yeah, when he crashed on his mountain bike and landed on his face, he, yeah, he, was really messed he up there for quite a discovered while. that he wasn't bulletproof. Yeah, does he ride his mountain bike anymore? Yeah, so. He bought a $500 bicycle helmet after that. <laughs> All right, let's see how they're doing here. Rescue mission. Pulling a four wheeler off the. Okay. Looks like the. Don't have to worry about the Can Am rolling. Video come out. <laughs> we'll see. Stand here half the time going, oh, why don't I have my camera? Okay, did that quad strike? <laughs> <laughs> I think I put my GoPro in the razor. Huh? I think so. I think I put my GoPro in the razor. I'm getting all that. I'll put it in the back seat. Because when my bike was over there, it tipped over. Oh, did it? Yeah, and then all the sand got on my GoPro. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I can put it in the center console or something. Nice having horsepower. <laughs> Here he goes again. All right. Be cool. Oh, he's going a different way. Okay, so here's an update. We're riding around in the same spot we were earlier today with the paddles on. And we had the back tires on the front, which we still have. And then he took the paddles off and we got the front tires on the back. And I'm able to keep those things spinning the entire time. It's drifting, it's floating around, having a ball, going in the same spot I went earlier, about two and a half hours I was in the exact same spot, there was a couple areas that were hard to uh, to make, I mean it went there but it wasn't doing great, so that paddle might have a little too much bite for my setup, so I'll definitely have to do some more testing, but right now I'm enjoying that at some point won't be in this video but at some point 
I'm gonna try putting those tires the other way and see if it does even better. But I've been dri driving around all day and having like that guy over there spinning cookies and having fun and throwing sand. I haven't been throwing a bunch of sand with my paddles, so I got a feeling I got too much bite for them. I mean, they have too much bite for my machine because I'm so heavy. So, all right, we're going to get back in the machine and I'll uh, show you a little bit of the floating around and having fun. something exciting we'll turn it back on all right so we got a nice fire going here at the trailer over there and wife seasoning up some fish for dinner got a little electric heater going there also so the wife is nice and warm let's see what it's like in her spot oh that's pretty nice and you got the bay over there the marina and all the lights over there this ain't too bad this is about as far away from the dunes and as close to the 101 as you can get and still be able to drive your OHV down the road to get to the dunes the camp next to us is a little bit farther a little bit farther um, towards 101 so you can see over here there's a sign right there. I know this doesn't show up good on a um, action camera. There's a sign right there. No HVs built beyond this point. And then uh, you got all this stuff here. You got the cop driving down the road right there. You got the marina over there and over there all this you got the nice marina there's a couple of cafes over there if i'm remembering correctly there's a pizza place over that way go on up here and you got the dunes and the lighthouse oh well, maybe tomorrow i should look at the lighthouse and uh point that out at you show you somebody's got a really nice big house right there Got a little 
pond here collecting the water. So yeah, we got some nice fires going. And uh, some good food being cooked. The wind pretty much stopped blowing. Oh, full moon. I'll show you that. Get over here where the trees are out of the way. See that there? Nice full moon. Beautiful night here in Winchester Bay. Have old Windy Cove B. No, I'm not at B. That was last time. There's Windy Cove A. Alright, well there's one more look at the fire. And uh Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.